Hello, this is Father Randy Sly with another installment of Day by Day, where each day we take a look at a reading from Holy Scripture found in the Daily Mass. And today is Tuesday of the 25th week in Ordinary Time, but today is a very special memorial for our Korean saints and martyrs. And this is the memorial of Saints Andrew Kim Taigon Priest, St. Paul Chong Hassang, uh, who was a catechist and a layperson, and uh, the other martyrs uh, from Korea in the 19th century. And so today is a day when we commemorate the sacrifice that they made as the uh, Christian faith was propagated throughout Korea. So I'd encourage you to look up this uh, beautiful feast day, either in a book or on the, online, and um, just again reflect upon the great sacrifice made not only by a priest, but by laymen and, and many others who were uh, making uh, Jesus known to the people in Korea back in the 19th century. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The mother of Jesus and his brothers came to him and were unable to join him because of the crowd. He was told, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside and they wish to see you. He said to them in reply, My mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and act on it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, today's gospel reading is very unique in that here we have Jesus teaching the crowd. And again, what he's been teaching them is the parable of the sower and also uh, the parable of the lamp. And so he's been in the midst of some really strong definitive teaching on being followers of God, of of, uh, being those who take the word of God and allow it to uh, bring forth a fruit in their hearts, and then talking about letting their lamp shine that others may see the light of Christ. And as he is teaching, uh, his mother and some other relatives are coming to spend time with him and wanting to see him. And so they they come to the gathering, and of course, uh, some from the crowd tell him, probably uh, one or a couple of his uh, apostles or disciples, uh, come up to Jesus in the midst of his teaching and say, uh, your mother and your, your brothers are here. Your relatives are here. They want to see you. And Jesus uses this as an example to, again, emphasize the relationship that God wants to have with those who allow the seed to be planted firmly in their hearts and those who let their light shine. And basically says, you know, my mother and my brothers or my relatives, those who are really related to me, are the ones who hear the word of God and act on it. Those who take that word that's been sown and allow it to come into their lives and then act on it by allowing it to influence their lives. So those who fulfill the teachings that I've just given you are my mother and my brothers. Now, was he discounting his blood relatives? Not at all. Because one of the things we know is that his blood relatives, and in particular when you think of his mother, that she acted on the word of God that was given to her even about the birth of the Messiah, who would be coming into the world through her womb, that she said to God through the angel, fiat, let it be done to me according to your word. And so his relatives, his blood relatives, are also those who are a part of hearing the word of God and acting on it. So he isn't discounting them. He is saying, be like them. Be like my mother. Follow after the word that you hear and act on it in your lives. And so he's really uh, not only uh, upgrading that fact that his blood relatives are also his relatives by obedience, but then calling others that they too can have that same relationship. A powerful uh, little nugget just in three verses of scripture that we are being called to be one of Christ's relatives, 
that we are called into a special personal relationship with him that comes from hearing the word, responding to it, and acting upon it, allowing him to lodge in our hearts through the Holy Spirit, taking into ourselves his redemption and his grace and his life that we may live it out. So may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts together be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Well, it's always good, as I say, to be with you. And uh, we look forward to being with you for another edition of Day by Day. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.